Do you agree with Braverman? Completely. I think that diversity and inclusion training isn't really about equality. It's about entrenching division. And anyone who rails against this sort of woke orthodoxy that's become entrenched, entrenched within our institutions is automatically painted as either a, a, a bigot, a racist, a transphobe. And it's just not true. In fact, I think it's patronising, and this was seen recently, um, where a diversity officer was found guilty of racial discrimination by assuming that one of her colleagues must have been um, a victim mm -hmm. of discrimination. And, and she wasn't happy with that, quite simply rightly. Simply because of her skin colour, and, and, and she won. And that says that, no, we don't want this, we don't want to be patronised, because all it does is actually make race relations worse, because... You know, you see race in scenarios where it wouldn't have necessarily existed before. But, of mm. course, this is what these people want. They want division. They want conflict. Well, Sean, you know, I was brought up under the John Lennon philosophy of we live in a colourblind world and the Martin Luther King Jr. philosophy, too. And that's always what I've supported. But according to this training that Braverman has exposed in her department, if you were to tell me not to use a particular word, whatever word it happened to be, I would not be able to have an intellectual debate with you. According to this training, because you're black, I just have to accept that what you're telling me is correct and go away and learn why you're correct. And to me, that's not how society should operate. We should be able to have debates about why you don't want me to use a particular word. Well, firstly, Dan, anything I tell you is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that out there. Yeah. That's a perfect thing. But all seriousness, yeah. I, I want to take a slight sidestep. Okay. Why what Breverman has done today is so important, because these woke warriors were beginning to use our legal system and certainly mm -hmm. the government against us. Yeah. This is Orwellian in a way that I don't think this country has ever seen. And if you can trade the civil service to spend its time looking for people and then to help, um, you know, write them out of history, that is a very powerful thing. And an example of that, she talked about 1,900 hours spent mm. on training. But remember, only a few weeks ago now, on this very show, we talked about a union jackass who had been given over £3 million pounds in government money and then had decided to use some of that money to say white men hand the power back. Yep. I was born and raised in this country. I, I was born where we're sat. I was born in Paddington. And the interesting thing for me is this is the greatest level of racism I've ever felt because now people are being told everything they've done is racist. So some people decide, well, I, well, I am. And they're behaving out of that. Mm. And I say these words advisedly. Please do not let white middle class guilt decide how you treat black people. Mm -hmm. Our parents made the trip to this country to be equals, not to be pets. Mm -hmm. And this whole thing is for another set of people to A, raise lots of money. Stonewall and all those trainers have made a huge amount of money from this. That's why people are using the word industry. And secondly, Give me the, the, the benefit of the doubt. Give me the respect that I may actually be able to provide some benefit to your life, to the country's mm. life. Not this idea that I'm always automatically a victim. We have had tons of racism in this country, but this is making it worse. Mm.